Now, you also mentioned that your cousin was Little Mister. Yeah. Now, what was that like? <clears throat> really, I ain't even know Little Mister was my cousin and shit. Like, I told you, I grew up in Wooga World and shit. Like, C5, my cousin and shit, too. I think it was C5 and Little Mister and shit. I was asleep one day. This when I was just, when I was going to uh, grammar school and shit. My uncle woke me up and shit, like, I brought you up. I, I, I'm over here to meet you. So take your um, take your cousin to meet you and shit. They downstairs. So I'm like, what the f he like, man, get up and shit. So I went downstairs. Now at this time, Lil Mister ain't had no name. You feel me? He just, I just knew where he was from and shit. So we was just like fake kicking and shit. So them niggas used to come to our hood, like pull up, like Lil P out here and shit. Bro, them used to be like, man, who the f is that? So it's like I had them on the block with us one day and shit. Folks and them start with them, but folks and them been. With them though, like certain niggas used to f with certain niggas, but it was just like Lil Mister and them used to pull up over there and shit, looking for me and shit. Shit, no. Now, I mean, he blows up musically. That must have been kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like that's your cousin and shit. He's, you know, no lacking was huge. Yeah, yeah, that shit was huge. I used to be looking at that shit and shit like, damn, look at cuz and shit. Feel me? Cause we both was up out there, you know. So it was just like, yeah. Okay. Did you guys get so you guys weren't really close cousins then? Nah, we just had we just had knew each other because of my uncle and shit. He introduced us like y'all cousins and shit. Like you need to know who your cousin is and woo woo and shit. Like so we had a little we had a relationship, but it wasn't strong as hell. Like cause I never hung with them before. Like. Being over there in they hood, like hung with Little Mister and shit, like going over there before I knew I was his cousin, you know? It was like, shit, I know he's my cousin now, like, I'm gonna fuck with him. For sure, for sure. Okay, now, I seen you ran into Rondo number nine in jail. Yeah, man. When he did that shit to the, uh, the little taxi, taxi, uh, man incident and shit. He had came in that motherfucker. Everybody was letting me know, man, Rondo in here. Feel me? I just happily see him sleeping and shit. Wake that ass up. Okay, and what happens? You wake him up? Yeah, wake him up and shit. He's sitting in like one of these seats. They got like little seats and shit and juvenile and shit. Like a lot. About four rows of chairs and shit. And they like, he right there and shit. So I'll just go over there and shit. Tap him. What's up with you and shit? As soon as I see the tattoo, I just take off on him because I know it's him. I don't even give him a chance. They jump me, though. I end up, I beat his ass, though. Was that your first time running into him? I ain't like my first time and shit. You know, I used to go to this school on like 72nd and Old Morgan and shit. And he used to live, he used to live in, uh, I think he used to live in Young World or whatever and shit. But he used to be on like 73rd and Sagamon and shit with these niggas down there that I f with. So when I start with these niggas, I learned out that Rondo number nine be down here. And this is people's big swirl, his brother. I'm like, yeah. Like, oh shit. Like, a lot of little TYB Chris World niggas down there and shit know me and shit. They like trying to get in tool with me, but you know, I'm in somebody else's hood. They like, that shit over with. Y'all gotta catch them on y'all time. Like, feel me? We had a big ass, we got a tool with Rondo number nine over there and shit, like on 72nd of Morgan and shit. We was all about to fight and shit. Shit didn't go too far though, you know. We just they yeah woo woo they go right there and shit, but they end up breaking it up, breaking it up and shit like, nah that shit y'all gotta do that shit in y'all hood, bro. Y'all making our hood hot and shit. Like the police gonna be up, be around here and shit like. So they end up making them go one way and shit, and I was just chilling and shit, and then went to the crib and shit. But we ain't had no more problems after that till I, when I got locked up and seen them, because it was like, nah I got you down though. That's all that shit you was talking when when they was breaking that shit up. So you hit him. Yeah, bust his ass. You're right he on the He jumps ass. up. You guys start fighting. Yeah, we start fighting and shit. He had some old motherfuckers. You know, everybody want to ride with him and shit because he's famous and shit. So they got all type of motherfuckers in that bitch just riding with him. I used to get into it with so many behind this shit. It used to be crazy. Like, we not even a tool with y'all. Who the fuck is you? You from what block? Man, I never heard of y'all, man. How the fuck y'all my ops, man? They just grind Dirk and Rondo and all them niggas. They just like, yeah, we with Rondo, nigga. Woo woo, like, 
Y'all don't even know him, bro. Y'all talk about him. Y'all in tune with me. I don't know y'all. How did how the fight get broken up? Oh, the police came and shit. Police came. You the talking rally. about with Rondo number nine? Yeah. Yeah, the police came. You know they 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 got these that's called the Orange Crush. They come in and shit. Big ass motherfuckers. Security, throwing niggas, uh, pushing niggas, slamming niggas, beating niggas. When they come in, though, you gonna get on the ground, though, because you already know. They ain't playing. Just break that shit up. Lay on the floor. You know, they took us to the hole and shit. Get the love. That was your last time seeing him? Running into him? Yup. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.